Hey guys, this is Scott with Revolution Self Defense. I'm in the studio with my friend Luke. Uh, we're working some beginner Muay Thai skills. He's a beginner's Muay Thai student. He's an intermediate level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu student. One of our competitors has done very well, won a lot of tournaments, and even got invited by the WKA to represent the USA in the international uh, stage. So a real good uh, Jiu Jitsu guy. Now, when we're talking about striking, what we try to teach our students and our fighters is to keep their head in the game. What that means is that when you're sparring, working with the opponent, fighting, whatever it is, if we try to match brawn with brawn, if I try to just outslug my opponent and he's bigger and a better slugger than me, I'm going to lose. So we need to be able to make adjustments and be able to think while we're throwing strikes and doing our defenses. So during this drill, we call it learning to count. We learn how to count via boxing parlance. Typically in a boxing gym, as I always learned it, was one is a jab, two is a cross, three is a lead hook. Four is up to interpretation. Different gyms have a different number four, but I learned it as a rear hand hook. Five is the lead uppercut. Six would be the rear uppercut. Right, so those are our boxing numbers. So with this drill, it's going to be a slipping drill. Typically in Muay Thai, you're very upright. You don't move your head a lot. But once we enter that boxing range for an MMA scenario, you might want to start moving that head around instead of taking those big shots, especially with the little gloves. They can get through that defense pretty easy. So what we do is we keep our head moving all the time now because if Luke is staying still, and I throw a jab, he tries to perceive what's happening, then make a decision to move, it's going to be too late. So, and once we get in that boxing range, he's going to keep his head moving all the time, and then the slips happen more as a reaction. So this is how the drill works. We start with one, and he follows with two. So that's one, two. Then we reset. We go one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We never simply do one and have him not count. We always teach our fighters to counter after they miss, or after they make their opponent miss. So if he ever defends, I'm fully really holding for a counter. Uh, count. Now, so moving around, the way the drill would work, we're moving around. As soon as I throw my first dra jab, it triggers the entire drill. So we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. His head's moving around. I throw the jab. There you go. He made a mistake in there once. He caught it, but then he fixed it up on the last set. So that's a drill, learning to count. Moving the head, keeping our head in the game, working out real well. All right, so if you have any questions, hit us up at revolutionselfdefense.com. Add this into your training. If you don't have a gym to train out, come check us out. Again, revolutionselfdefense.com. Reading Thanks a lot.